sort of an agreement between what the Senate R's have proposed and what the House D's have proposed, in your view? And can it be done with just Democratic votes? Well, I think there there is a path uh, uh, incorporating some of the elements of the uh, the Senate Republican suggestion and some of uh, what the uh, the House Democrats have raised, which is in effect uh, uh, their proposal is very close to what Governor Lamont proposed uh, during the 2018 uh, campaign. I think that. Uh, Today we have a letter from the state treasurer raising concerns about the, uh, the Republican proposal and the extent to which it draws from the budget reserve fund. Um, yeah, that is uh, not their, the concern, I guess, is the, the amount of the budget reserve fund used in that proposal. Uh, obviously, that's still open for discussion as exactly what amount you might use, but I think that's a useful contribution to the discussion, as is the, uh, the House proposal. So I think there is a, a path. I mean, but, but there would have to be additional funds, I think, to be uh, targeted to create the revenue stream needed to support the plan, and I think that, that assumes that we are supporting the governor's plan with the Connecticut to 2030 plan, which is the $21 billion plan. That's something that had broad support in our caucus last week. Had broad support except for the tolls. Broad support for the, 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 the infrastructure right. improvements, yeah. right, but not for the not for the, uh, the, not for the funding. Uh, not for the funding, right. Are there enough plans on the table to have this discussion, or will the Senate Democrats be putting forward their own plan? <clears throat> well, I think now is the time for us to uh, uh, all gather together. I know that uh, Joe Brennan today called for a CBIA call for a bipartisan approach. That's something I've been calling for for a long time. I think that was a helpful contribution to the discussion. In the meeting we had with the governor last week, after very, we had, I think, the longest discussion with the governor of any of the, the four caucuses that he visited, um, there was a, a clear give and take there. And afterwards, uh, we were under the impression that he was going to incorporate things that were said in that caucus. and. Uh, uh, make some revisions to his uh, proposal based on that. So I think the time has come, you know, for uh, for all four caucuses uh, to meet with the governor and try to find common ground. Now, I know that Ryan has reached out to you all today. Uh, is there any news about the day and the time yet? Well, there was supposed to be a meeting last Thursday that was canceled, uh, and uh, we're we're uh, certainly uh, hoping to get together and meet as soon as we possibly can. But if, if, if it's not this week. Next week is quite short because, as you know, everything shuts down here Tuesday night. Right. Because right. of the holiday. So. <clears throat> well, I think that we, we need to try to get this done as soon as we can. And uh, uh, obviously, getting a plan together to vote in this calendar year would be uh, difficult given everyone's schedule with the holidays. But we still, this being the short session, we don't convene the regular session until February. So I, I uh, remain hopeful that we can get something done in the month of January, if we can all come together. And we'll still be outside the, before the next regular session. Is there a way to finance this without a new revenue stream, though? Well, we would have to have a combination of revenue streams to do it. I, I think that, uh, uh, I don't think anyone wants to raise any additional uh, any additional existing taxes. That's why one of the uh, proposals I put out is that uh, at some point, if we can uh, legalize marijuana and have sports betting, those would be two streams that could be uh, dedicated to this as part of a plan that would have to have multiple revenue streams. But of course, that would more likely address the out years because even if we were to vote on that right away, we wouldn't have revenue coming in from it right away. So it would be you know, a future revenue stream that could be devoted to it. But I think we're going to have to have uh, several revenue streams because I think the proposal that the House came out with, uh, they said 150. There are some variants on that as to whether 150 is the accurate number. But again, that's uh, that's a that'll be a part of, uh, of what's proposed. So I think we have to have several different revenue streams that would be <coughs> put into this. My understanding is that there's some some difference. We're going to have to clarify. Uh, there's been some discussion that the federal government is uh, uh, requiring a, uh, a dedicated revenue stream, but mm -hmm. there have been other reports of what the federal government requires is a guaranteed revenue stream. In other words, that not necessarily a single source dedicated, but whatever sources you have, if they turn out not to be accurate, there's a there's a compact to supplement those later if need be. So it's still your view you that, that um, whatever ends up coming out of the hopper here, that you'd want to have at least a Republican or two on board? Oh, well, certainly we would like to have uh, a bipartisan plan. Some of the best legislation we've passed, the ones that have the most far-reaching consequences, have been bipartisan. Obviously, the, uh, <clears throat> the post-Sandy uh, post Hook bill, that's one of our greatest achievements of bipartisanship. I think the, uh, the 2011 uh, job session bill, that was bipartisan. So, the state uh, income tax. State income tax was bipartisan, absolutely. One of the major policy changes of the last 30 years, yes. So do you think that members of every caucus would support a truck-only proposal as another revenue stream? Well, I think that uh, it is uh, something that we, we, again, we have not caucused it since the, the House uh, announced it the other day, but uh, uh, it is something that has uh, uh, 
uh, more. I will just say there was there is not support in our caucus for a a plan that involves tolling of uh, involving passenger vehicles. So I think what uh, what the House proposed is something you know, much closer to what could get could get broad based support. So do you agree that there's less resistance to truck tolling because the governor campaigned on this and said he was going to do it? Well, no, I'd say there's less resistance to it uh, primarily because it doesn't involve passenger cars, which is the uh, which which is the, the the really most controversial aspect of uh, the other tolling plans.